Hello guys and welcome to Kitchen Colony. On this channel, I'll be bringing to you a taste of Jamaican inspired meals with a twist to suit every palate. Now today guys, I have for you a mouth-watering, tasty, delicious meal made with jackfruit. Yes, you've heard me correctly, jackfruit. Now if you'd like to see me do this, then follow me. Before we move on, let me just take this time to thank my subscribers, old and new, and also my viewers. Thank you for coming back faithfully every week. Now guys, did you know that jackfruit could be tasty, just like meat? Trust me, this meal that I'm preparing will make you not miss meat in the least. And it's not only for vegans or vegetarians, it's for everyone. Let's make this meal together. Now today we're going to make sweet and sour jackfruit and to prepare this we need to make a sauce or you could buy the ready-made sauce so over here we need some pineapple pieces pineapple chunks and I have pineapple chunks in the juice because I'm going to use the juice but if you have it in the syrup it's okay we're going to need a quarter cup of sugar you can use more if you want ground ginger I wish I had the fresh ginger but I realized I didn't have any but it's best to use fresh then I need some ketchup and some vinegar. Now you can, this is white, I'm sorry, white wine vinegar, but if you have other vinegar, you may use it. Now we're gonna need some vegetables. We, we, we need an onion, sweet pepper, bell peppers, and cut the color you choose is okay. And some tomato, this is optional, but my son and husband loves tomato. So I'm adding it. I'm using mushroom, but you can use any vegetable you prefer. Um, courgette, aubergine, whatever you prefer. And I'm using a carrot, some garlic cloves, pimento berry, and a piece of scotch bonnet pepper. Now, if you, as you can see, I'm using the young green jackfruit in brine and it's very salty. So to eliminate the salt, you soak your jackfruit until all the salt is gone before you start boiling it. Now, if you add the young green jackfruit, those in the Caribbean, that would be perfect. Now I'm going to cut some of the large pieces into chunk. So sometimes you'd find them removing seeds. But when I was growing up, I used to roast the seeds and eat it. So it's edible, so I'm not going to take them out. Now, after, do, after I'm finished with this, I'm going to um, boil it for 30 minutes. And I'm going to boil it in seasoning because we want to get some flavor into this. Remember, it's not meat, so you want to create that nice flavor. Now we're going to give it a rinse before we transfer it to the pot. So, you know, as vegetarians, they don't eat meat, but you want your, you know, meat substitute to be very flavorful. So that we're going to create that with seasonings. Now we're going to add some seasoning to the pot and we're going to have it boil for about half an hour on medium. Now we're going to cut some seasoning and um, some garlic to put in the pot to get some flavor. Now we don't want to chop it or anything. We just crack it, crush it and throw it in the pot. My pimento. piece of pepper and that's optional choose whatever powder seasoning you like I'm adding some um, as I said this is my salt the all-purpose seasoning and a little sazon now we're going to take it over to the stove to medium then we're going to add some boiling water to it we add some boiling water and a teaspoon of green seasoning now we're gonna allow this to boil for about half an hour what we want is the the seasoning to be absorbed in the jackfruit creating flavor now we cover on medium heat for about half an hour or until you think it has absorbed some flavor and while the jackfruit is being steamed we're going to prepare our rice in my pot of boiling water I'm adding some butter you can use 
olive oil if you wish and I'm going to use some what I consider my salt now I'm going to add my rice and this is only two cups of basmati I'm going to turn my stove down under the rice and then cover and then turn it to very to low and cover and allow it to steam until done. Now it's time to check on our jackfruit. Yes, and this is what we want. The water is, it has absorbed all that liquid. Now we're going to turn our stove off and allow it to cool because we can't proceed unless it's cold. Now I'm taking them out to cool because we're going to deep fry them. So we want them very cold. You notice, it absorbed all the juice, all the liquid. So it's packed with flavor now. You have to be gentle at this point because they'll break. Now I've used Sajan, Sajan I should say, because I would, it, I'm able to see how much of the liquid, you know, of the flavor the jackfruit absorb. So that's why I'm, I use a colored seasoning, but you don't have to. Last piece, allow it to cool. We have to be tender, we don't want it to break because it is very fragile now and it will break. Now it's time to create the sauce for the um, jackfruit. So I'm gonna use about half cup of water. To that I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of sugar. Now you can add more sugar because some people use half cup. You can add. Then I'm going to add about six teaspoons of ketchup. I'm just going to estimate it. Yeah that's it. Add more if you like. Now I, I don't have grit, um, the fresh ginger so I'm going to use some ginger powder. So I'm going to add about a teaspoon or add, or add more. I'm going to taste as I go along. Just about a teaspoon and a half. Then I'm going to add some rice wine vinegar or any other vinegar you have. That's about three tablespoons. Now this is natural pineapple juice, not the syrup. I'm adding it to the liquid, the pineapple juice. And I'm going to put away the pineapple chunks. I'm putting it away because we're not yet ready for it. Now we can add as we go along to, to acquire the taste that you like. I might have to add some more ginger or maybe some more sugar. You add as you go along. But this is basically sweet and sour sauce. Now I'm putting, putting it to boil. This is boiling. Let's check our rice. That's fine. Yes, this is cooked. And this is after about 15 minutes so I'm gonna turn my stove off and leave it that's it let's chop our vegetables I'm just gonna slip simply cut the carrots no nothing fancy because it's a small carrot so roughly chop our bell peppers in chunks because the idea is not to cook this out, you know, it's partially cooked. Well, if you like it cooked totally, fine. Simple, rough chop. Then we break them apart. Now we're just gonna slice in chunks. And these are chestnut mushroom because they are very firm and I like them, they don't get mushy. I have half cup of flour and I'm going to put a heap tablespoon of cornstarch. The cornstarch allows it to be very a little bit more crispy. And I'm going to season my flour. Now you season the flour the way you want. Now it's time to season our flour for frying. Remember we're going to deep fry these jackfruit. We are mimicking chicken. So we add some um, garlic granules. And I'm using about half a teaspoon. The same amount for black pepper. 
I'm adding some hot paprika just for color but this has pepper so it has some chili in it add some mixed herbs now remember taste your jackfruit to see if it's salty and if you it is salty you don't need to add salt here but if not add salt I think my sweet, sweet and sour sauce is finished so I'm gonna turn it off because it's thick enough and I have enough really enough sauce sorry now we have blended the seasonings now I'm going to transfer it to a ziplock bag because I'm going to shake now it's cool enough so I'm going to take them off notice the pieces have some of the seasonings on it leave that that's beautiful so we're going to put them here now they're very fragile now so be very careful when you're taking them out now in my bowl I have a tablespoon of um, cornstarch with some water and I'm going to use it to coat this um, the jackfruit because I want the flour mixture to stick and this is um, acting like how we use egg on chicken let's give it a little shake so that it covers the jackfruit now it's time to set our oil to hot now in our pan we're gonna put I'm going to I don't I, I'm not going to really deep fry it's more shallow and I am going to allow it to the oil to get very hot put in a clove of garlic and when it starts getting brown, it will give me an indication that it's time to put the meat in or, or the jackfruit in. Add our jackfruit pieces and I'm taking from the bottom because it has the liquid so it will stick easier. And the top ones go back to the bottom and we're going to shake. A rock in motion, you don't want to break it, rock. So I'm going to remove it and okay, let's remove them. Coat it so we shake off the excess flour like this one shake it off do it a little at a time because you don't want them to um, rub on each other and then break apart pop it in let me adjust my stove now a little lower because I think it's a bit hot yeah just uh, like meat you don't want to overcrowd the pan so we put that's that's okay this is a good amount and we're okay now we're frying two batches i'm removing the jackfruit the first frying because we are going to double fry yeah I'm going to double fry and the purpose for that is to make it make it crispy and that's what I'm aiming for another thing if the brine if you buy the one in brine remember wash it properly because brine is salty so make sure your, 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 your jackfruit isn't salty give it about three minutes and then you remove it from the pan moving pieces that I think are done here Crispy, still juicy inside. All crispy and done. Here we go. Now ready for our sauce. Open it. It's absorbed the seasoning nicely. See? Now we're going to add the tomatoes. All the tomatoes just to soften them. Time to add the other vegetables. Give it about three minutes. You don't want to overcook these. You just want them slightly cooked because I like mine crunchy. Now it's time to add our sauce. Remember, it's now cool. You want to warm it again. We pour it on our vegetables. Now we stir it in. Allow it to cook. Then we add our jackfruit and turn the stove off. Stir, turn the stove off. We don't want our jackfruit to cook. Let it absorb some of this sauce. I'm coming back to plate it up and you'll get to see what it is looking like. That's it. Now here you have it guys. This mouth-watering meal made from fruit. 
jackfruit. Guys, I didn't miss chicken. I didn't miss beef. I didn't miss prawns. I didn't miss it. This was so delicious. You could not tell that it wasn't meat. Guys, I'd love you to try it. It was colorful, crunchy, and tasty. Beautiful. Guys, please give this a try. I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. Please let me have your feedback because this was so delicious. Everybody kept talking about it. If you've enjoyed what you've just watched, then please give me a thumbs up, share my videos. And if you have not yet subscribed, please remember to do so. I do enjoy making these videos for you and I do appreciate your comments. Thank you all for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.